Okay. All right, well, we'll just wing it anyway. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Daily Deal for today. Today, we're looking at Midweek Madness. Uh, currently, this game is 75% off. That means it was £3 for me. I'm just realising... I didn't have my pop shield on. That means it's about three pounds for me. Um, <laughs> wow, what was that? I was like, is there an animal? That was very professional. That's what that was. That was my creaky ass pop shield that was going out in front of the mic. This is three pounds or I'm guessing five dollars, Matt. Probably. On Steam. Oh, for me? Yeah. 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 So uh, this is Midweek Madness. It's still going for like another 40 hours or something. So there's plenty of time for you guys to get in on it. I have played about 50 minutes of it so far. Um, Matt, you've played this game before though, right? Yeah, I beat the game. Okay. Um, and Quite a bit back. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, hold on. So, first of all, I completed level one, basically. I'm going to show you guys level two. It's probably going to put us into a cutscene. I wanted to do that to show you guys the art style. Because it's like Samurai Jack. It's amazing. Did you put the two and two together? Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's the same as people who made Shank. It, That's why you can see. Is it? Is it? It's the, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Because I recognized the art style was incredibly similar. Right. That makes a lot of sense. Did they do this after Shank? Yeah, I think they did this after Shank. Oh. Shank 2, maybe? Maybe after Shank 2? I could be wrong. This is so long ago when this came out. That that <laughs> So long ago. You know, that's kind of scary, actually, because Shank was a game I really enjoyed, but it was a game that I watched Let's Plays of. And the idea that this game came out after that, and it's really... Like, I consider watching Let's Plays to be kind of a new thing in my life, but I guess, you know, it's been like three, four years now, which is kind of a weird uh, thought. But yeah, um, let, let's let people actually watch the cutscene, I suppose. ...his own life before. Or he destroys himself, and the clan swore to protest. We must act quickly. Count Karajan is the head of Hessian services. He is responsible for the attack on our clan. His tower stands behind ring upon ring of security. You must kill him before he can attack again. Oh, oh, we're, we're in game. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> Real conversation now. We may or may not have been having a private conversation for, <laughs> through that uh, <laughs> cutscene. Okay, so this is Mark of the Ninja. It's a side-scrolling adventure. Well, I don't know whether... Yeah, okay, it's a 2D side-scrolling stealth game. Stealth game. Stealth game, yeah. Action stealth game. It's pretty damn cool. Um, One thing I will say straight away, and this is just to defend myself when I play badly. Okay, no, I don't want to fall down there. Is uh, this was originally an Xbox title that's been ported to the PC, and all of the UI elements, even if you're playing on mouse and keyboard, as far as I can see, maybe it just me thinks that I've got a controller plugged in because of my Razer Hydra here. Um, it will give you all the UI elements as if you're using an Xbox controller. But you can wreck them all. You should be able to change that. I mean, that's so weird. Yeah. That it doesn't have that. So, yeah. I mean... Uh, I used the Xbox controller when I played it. Yeah, I mean, I'm such a sucker for mouse and keyboard. I guess, you know, if I actually bothered to look around and find my Xbox controller, I'd probably stop playing these games on it more. Um, which has been a little bit of a struggle for me, I've got to say. If it is something that's not going to be an issue for most people, then that's perfectly fine. And, you know, I think that that's maybe less... And it's not a sucky port, either. It's it's a pretty good port. Yeah. Like, you, you could change your resolution and everything, so don't worry about that. Shank was, Shank was a great port, too. This also is... If I hide, do the lasers not see me? Okay, that's good. Yeah, they don't see you. Yeah. Right, that's awesome. You also could get smoke and stuff later on in the game that the lasers can't see you. So that's some later game stuff right there. It's been a while since you've played, but how much do you remember about our controls and what we can do? You want to explain it to the people? I can't even um, you, you start off with the basics. Um, you know, uh, basically, when you are, when, you're, when your ninja is very dark, right? When there's no light on you, your ninja gets really dark. When there's light on you, you can actually see the color of his like robes and stuff like that. Yes. So you get more points at the end of the round when they, they, they don't even know that you're there, right? And then you get less points as you kill them and less points as, uh, yeah, <laughs> less points as you, uh, like, they, they, the question mark come over above their heads. So, yeah. I mean, they don't really penalize you for killing them, but um, I don't know. At the end, it kind of seems like they kind of penalize you for doing that, so, sort of. But you could play how you want. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I thought that the score system was pretty interesting in the game because as I was playing through, I was like, okay, so I'm getting score for getting perfect kills. I'm getting score for distracting people. I'm getting score for, you know, interesting kills. Or even you get a bonus at the end if you, like, do, as with most stealth games, it rewards you if you manage to do it without killing anyone. You know, there were all these nice things giving me score, and I thought that was quite nice. But more interestingly, it's like you say, like, they will take score away from you if you, like, start messing up. 
Um, yeah. They if were. you get detected. And as such, I didn't do that. How comes... Okay, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on with the sensors here. They just turn in... Alright, so what happens is if when an enemy guy... An enemy guy has like a chip on him, right? So when he goes next to a laser, it turns off. So you can nest, you can kill him, right? And then drag his body near the sensors, near the lasers. Oh, and you got caught. <laughs> no, it's good. It's near good. the lasers, the lasers, and it'll it'll go away. Right. See, like grab his body, grab his body, and drag him to the lasers. And don't worry, you're not. Gonna, don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. Sure? You're okay. Not gonna get hit. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's. Pretty cool. I'm not gonna let you die. <laughs> Thank you. You could do that. Yeah. You could do that on your own. <laughs> oh wow! Cheers. Yeah. I, and that I is the same thing. To die. <laughs> um so yeah um that that's the basic of the game but really the bigger your score the the more points you get and the more points you get the more upgrades you're going to get because it has a little rpg element to it as well and if you see like the little red uh not red the little yellow oh ooh, watch the spotlight those you see those you can't use your darts to yeah put. okay so um we, we've got various ways to kill things and interact with the environment here by like activating with certain things that i can hide um but there are certain items you can get in the game you guys can see here in the bottom left hand corner i've got force hotkey slots right now early in the game i only have darts but uh you can always activate these and they'll do different things darts can't hurt enemies but they can break things so you've seen me breaking circuits you'll see me smash lights and stuff too um but this one, as Matt they, explained, they could hurt enemies, just not very much. And later on, you'll get stuff like poison darts, uh, uh, smoke bombs, like I was saying before. You can hide in a box, like uh, Metal Gear. Really? Um, yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, there's also um, it, it, the enemies upgrade later on, so it gets a lot harder. And when I mean a lot harder, they get a lot harder. And sneaking is definitely one of your strong suits. Oh, and you got to be careful. Shit. So it shows you where you last, yeah. Oh, so my you God, I'm can just running. Hide. Balls to the wall. Just run, just run. I did not play like this on level one. Uh, <laughs> oh! So you can hide, and they'll eventually give up. <gasps> you know, just like Metal Gear. Yeah. Yeah, like they can... But, uh, but, well, I don't know. See, the AIs of... Uh, stealth games, AI is a huge part, right? I mean, I, I think that's right. pretty... But, like, with this, because it's only on a 2D plane, they can do, like, a lot of interesting things with the enemies. So far, like, they're all pretty predictable. You smash a light, they're gonna look in the direction of the light so you can assassinate, assassinate them. And it feels pretty solid in sort of how far away you have to go before you can escape from people. Um, but, you know, I, I think that that's not necessarily a negative to the game so far. Are you saying that later on that that's gonna change, though, and it's gonna get, like, way harder? Oh, yeah, it gets way harder. Uh... You know, sometimes you you get like poison darts and stuff like that, and then you'll get then you'll get enemies that have like uh like an armor that protects from that, or protects a mask that protects from uh from smoke or something like right. that. So they'll be able to see you through smoke either way. Okay. You know, so some of the upgrades might become useless, and that's kind of disappointing as well. It's like oh. Why? Why did I spend you know money on that and points on that? Because you don't really get much from that, and then you know it becomes useless when the game gets harder. Yeah. Especially with the dogs, when they start introducing the dogs, they can smell you. Right. So if you're anywhere around their radius, they will find you. It does sound at least. Oh shit! Okay, hold on. I got a second. Okay, so I just got a second item. So a noisemaker, right? Um, so you're saying like later on in the game, maybe people this wouldn't be effective at all on, on certain enemies, or are you talking about other upgrades? Yeah, other upgrades. Well, that yeah, they will they will look to see where you made the sound from because they'll they'll basically look for sound and they'll get alert, but they won't do this same animation like oh what's over here? <laughs> <laughs> Let me leave my back oh, but that open. Makes it easier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, sometimes they'll look back really quickly. Thinking that, oh, yeah, you're so accustomed to just, oh, just sneaking back and killing them when that won't work. Right. Yeah, so you get bigger guys and you get snipers later on as well uh, that would kill you as soon as, as soon as they have a shot on you, one shot kill. So it gets a lot harder. So definitely. should we talk a little bit about um, like because there's a lot more than what's going on that meets the eye in terms of levels. Um, should we talk a bit about kind of the uh the upgrade system that you can get and in particular like the side objectives and all the missions do you remember much of how all that stuff worked how does this how am i supposed to use a noisemaker by the way to get through this what you, you don't use a noisemaker you use a dart oh, so you, shoot you that jump in the air okay and do the slow-mo effect oh i'll do it that way that worked try, tr 
Try, try to do the sl- slow the slow mo. Oh, effect, okay. That's yeah. Okay. So they introduced me to me, me to a mechanic in the uh, first level, which was a slow mo effect, which you can activate by holding control. And this basically slows. Right, and you could do it mid air too. Okay, so I can jump and hold this, and this. Well, it doesn't slow down time; it just pauses time completely. And this allows you to select multiple targets, and you'll throw multiple darts out all at once. Um, yeah. Hey, I like to think of it as slow mo. Okay, <laughs> yeah. just very still slow mo. Because I am a ninja. Awesome. Oh, there it is. And now you can just hit both of them. But aren't I gonna just fall in the lasers now when I let go? I'm scared. No. Uh, oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that that's that's a good example of that. I mean, it's all it's all about the upgrades. Like eventually, you get to do the Spider Man effect. Oh, watch it. And um, you know, you know how Spider Man got that first kiss? What they call the Spider Man kiss? The, the upside would, down, like, got a... Upside down. Yeah, you can like get people. Oh, and it was in the rain down. too. So romantic. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. But yeah. Yeah, so, so it, the thing though, they that animation never changes though. That kill animation, for some reason, it never changes. Oh really? It's just the same. The That's whole one game. of my little gripes. Yeah. It changes if you mess yeah. it up. So there's different ways you can kill people. You can get like perfect kills, silent kills. Uh, well, I, I guess that is a perfect kill. You can get imperfect kills as well, which will alert enemies. And there's a lot of dynamics there actually because you can be in the middle of an assassination, and even though the screen kind of zooms in, it feels like it's a bit of a kind of a quick time effecty type of thing. It's really not. You're still playing the game in real time, and someone else can kill you in the middle of that, as I found out in level one, which is quite cool. So I'm gonna have to sprint through here. This is something else in the game. And but as I was trying to mention earlier, there are there are lots of different side things. Like you can find scrolls in the levels. Um, which will, uh, like, if you get enough of them, you can unlock extra things. You can get seals, which are, oh, man, that's, <laughs> that's pretty close, dude. Jeez, that's crazy. Okay. You gotta be fast. You, you have to use There the are these things called seals as well, which are, like, these small challenges that you can do. I can turn this off now. That's good. Um, so, like, each level has its own set of extra challenges and things you can do to boost your score or to actually unlock extra things and, and upgrades as you go along. Uh, should we talk about... about ooh, should we talk a bit about the length of the game? Um, it's not too long, but it's it's around, I say, six hours. Six hours? It took me to come. Okay. Yeah, it, 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 and it has a good, a decent story about, you know, when he puts... When he every time he puts the ink inside of his blood, he gets stronger and yeah. But right, you also start to go insane as you put more ink into your body, and you know it, it, it's. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. So that that is the basics of it, and also there is challenges of the game. So there's a lot of collectibles like the scrolls, and there's also challenges um, that you can go to and get extra points for doing as yeah, well. Yeah. So it's nice little collectible stuff like so that. So it's, it's got that. For people who are completionists. Yeah, and it's got a bit of repeatability there then. And I mean, bringing it back to the fact this is the daily deal, I mean, Jesus, this is what, £3? I, I, I really think this is fantastic value for money. If you guys aren't familiar with Shank as well, which was another game that was uh, developed by these guys, uh, they're fantastic titles. They're really well ported. They've got a really distinct, nice art style. The actual feel of the platforming in this game as well is really solid. It, it, you, you like really stick to the walls in a really satisfying way. He always kind of moves in the way that you want him to. So there's an artifact, for example, which you could one of the uh, one of the collectibles. Um, it, they, this is a solid game, man. I'm really enjoying this. I really am. Um, everything from down to the samurai Jack kind of uh, cutscenes that we've got. I mean, the plot itself. Oh, that brings back memories, Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack. My favorite episode of yeah. Samurai Jack was. Okay, so there's that ninja lady with me. Was like, there's one where he's just walking along a road, and the entire episode is these bad guys trying to kill him. And then the end of the episode is just like he owns them all in like less than a second. Like there's this snowflake that keeps dripping to the floor, and then from the time where the water drop lands from this icicle to the ground, he's killed them all and foiled their elaborate trap that the entire episode was about. It's amazing. It's so good. Everybody should watch Samurai Jack. <laughs> Shaq's amazing. Okay. <laughs> I actually got to rewatch that because I haven't watched it in like years. Uh, neither have I. I just remember that episode though, and it was amazing. It was so good. Okay, well, look, we should probably wrap that up there then. Um, this is Mark of the Ninja Guys. Thanks very much for watching the Daily Deal. And uh, this is another one I kind of want to keep playing. I guess we'll we'll see you next time. See you.